In this video we're going to look briefly at invoicing and billing, so we're going to cover the following areas. How to amend your tax and currency settings, how to attach payment details to an invoice, how to generate an invoice from a quote and how to send online payment requests via PayPal. Firstly you need to amend your tax settings, so to do this just go to settings under CRM and then select taxes and then you need to go into settings again. So there's two types of taxes that are supported by the system. There's location dependent and item dependent. Location dependent is if the value is different depending on the location. So this could apply to US states where sometimes the rate does differ. And item dependent is when an amount is specified and applied to each individual item. Initially we're going to look at location dependent. So that's already selected. So all we need to do is click save. What you need to do first of all is set your location, so to do this you go back into your settings and then just select location. So you can see we've already got some set up on the system because it is a demo site, but to add another one you just need to click add. You just need to fill in a few details on this screen, so the type which is country and then you need to fill in the name. And then if you just click save at the bottom. Once you've set your location up, what you then need to do um, is set your tax rate. So to do this, go back into your settings, then into taxes. So if we click add tax, and then you just fill in a few details here, and then click save. And then you need to go back into it to actually set your rate. So if you click on tax rates on the tab, and add tax rate. Here you can set the rate that was going to be applied, the client type, so what the rate will be applied on, and then your location. So your client type, we're going to select company, we'll put your rate in, and then what you can also do is select whether it's going to be included in the price or not. You just do the tick box. Then what you need to do is find your location. So you can see it comes up below, so if you just click that. And then to select it, just click that button to bring it over there and then just click save. So what that means is we've set the location and we've set the rate that's going to be applied. So now we'll look at item dependent. So if you go back into your settings and back into taxes. Settings again just to switch it over. So because it's item dependent you don't need to set a location you can just straight away add your VAT rate. So to do that just name it whatever you want to name it if we say 20% and then just put your rate in there as well and then click save and that's your rate set up so now we'll look at how to attach payment details to an invoice so you just need to go back into settings into payment options and payment systems there are already several pre-made templates um, for invoices. You can either edit the existing templates or you can create your own using the create payment system at the top. Just have a look at one that's already set up. So you can, for invoices, you can add your bank details, contact information and company logo. So it feels like this way you can add your bank details, you can add your address, and um, you can put the logo on there as well, update a file. If you do make any changes, just click apply and then click save. As I say, if you want to make your own, create payment system. And then it gives you a similar format where you just fill in your details. So you can see you've got your logo on there. So now we'll generate an invoice to see what that looks like. So I'm just going to go into quotes. And if we just go into this one. So what you need to do initially, um, you can see on here that the amount is in pounds. You need to check your currency setting before you actually generate an invoice. So you need to go back into your settings, currency, and you can see here we've got pounds, US dollars and euro set up. Default invoicing is set to pounds which is fine for the quote that we were just looking at. If you do need to change it though, you just click there edit currency and then there's a tick box that you can just select default invoicing currency and then you click save to apply it. If 
go back into that quote. What you need to do first of all is win the quote. So that's on this tab up here. So you can see the status bar of the quote. If you just click it to the end and click approved. And then what you can do is generate invoice. So once you select that, it'll automatically generate an invoice for you. If we just download that just to have a look at it. So it's got the company information here, it's got the logo updated. If you were to put your contact details in, um, so your sort code, account number, things like that, then that would be updated here as well. So if we just close this. You might have also noticed there's now an invoice link. This is the integration with PayPal. So if you click on it, it gives you the option to copy a link. If you send that to your customers and they follow it, it then takes them to PayPal's website where they can pay the invoice straight away. So that's the video finished. We've covered how to amend your tax and currency settings, how to attach payment details to an invoice, how to generate an invoice from a quote, and how to send online payment requests via PayPal.